Traversing one of the country's toughest golf courses with Tom Herbert. Yeah, welcome to Todd Hill. It's like entering the <laughs> ring with a heavyweight who doesn't need to lay a finger on you to get a point across. Nice spot. You know, one day you can play very well, the next day you you look like you never played before. A little par for you? Yeah. He has two holes in one here at Tot Hill Farm in Asheboro, North Carolina. Both in the same year. Come on. He's won tournaments and not just in golf. Like in softball, I wasn't very good in the beginning, but then I worked. So I became pretty good. Pretty good enough to be inducted into the Greater Cleveland Slow Pitch Softball Hall of Fame's class of 1997. But what sets Tom apart is he's done all of this without two things most of us use all day. Every day. We live behind the Fisher Body Plant in Cleveland, Ohio. 50 years before the Hall of Fame, 1947. Tom's brothers and their friends went through a gate that had been left open. This as the trucks and trains were bringing materials to the plant. And I guess I followed them through the gate and somehow fell on the tracks when a train came by. And uh, one of the truck drivers saw me and picked me up and wrapped me in his coat and took me to the hospital. At 22 months old, he lost both hands and most of his forearms. The guys were coming back from World War II so a lot of amputees so it was, it was fortunate that way because you know they were starting to experiment with prosthetics and stuff like that the prosthetics were less help more hindrance my brother was very competitive that's why i became very competitive and they, they didn't give me any slack which was a good thing so he found the drive to not only survive but thrive uh, i picked it up when i was 11 years old my father was a golfer and he took me out and gave me my first club, and I just kind of started from there. Ten years after the accident, he was playing in his first amputee golf tournament. You know, when you play with a lot of amputees, it's you you kind of feel like you're at home. You know, it's, it's like these guys are my guys. And that short but straightened to the pin approach is something he's carried with him to the age of 75. So I played them all. I love sports. Over those years, learning. Yes, golf is tough. Even when you think you got it, you don't. Sometimes losing something means you have even more to give. So while Tom's the kind of person who can beat you without throwing a single punch, <laughs> he chooses to use that power. Nice. Thanks. To pick you up. Oh, I have no idea. Right at the tree. You hit it good. I guess when I felt sorry for myself, I thought I couldn't do it. But if you work real hard, and there's ways to do everything. You just have to figure them out. In Ashboro. Atta boy. Michael Hennessy. <laughs> nice job, brother. Fox 8 News.